Hi folks. Uh, this is my latest solar oven project and I've decided to try to make one uh, as inexpensively as I could really figure out how to do it and still do something that people could copy and so I decided I would make one from cardboard uh, the whole box and all the insulation is going to be cardboard and so far I have the box itself uh, built and I have a little bit of the inside insulation done uh, but I still need to do more and I would have probably finished that inside insulation except that I ran out of cardboard now uh, all this cardboard here that you see is just stuff that I got from work that was getting thrown away and it's double wall cardboard so it's twice as thick as normal cardboard and uh, I really think that's the smart way to do it because uh, the way I decided to do it was to uh, was to take these boards and I glued them together using wood glue and then I cut them with a, a skill saw to the right shape and uh, what you can see is the result now uh, this is an inch thick almost it's just a shy under an inch thick and what I did here is they alternated the grain on that cardboard and I weighed it down I also clamped it and let it dry for a minimum of a couple of hours uh, some of it I let dry overnight and I trimmed it up using a, a skill saw and since I'm not very skillful with a skill saw, I used a straight edge to make sure my straights, my cuts were all nice and straight. And then, once that was done, I got some of this uh, paper shipping tape. I didn't want to use uh, vinyl stuff because even though this is made from cardboard I want it to be durable and uh, I have a plan for finishing the outside which uh, I'm not going to share right now and uh, I'll tell you you'll see it you know once uh, once I've got it complete but for right now I'm not going to explain what that is but uh, so far, what I have into this, just in terms of cost, uh, it was $8 for that tape. And I used a lot of glue. I used, uh, I used two uh, of the larger, I'm not sure what size they are. Uh, it looks like about one pint. I used two of them glue all this cardboard together I used a lot of glue and uh, I wanted to make sure that it was really gonna be solid and stay together and for anybody that's never worked with cardboard uh, especially made it thick uh, you're gonna be amazed if you ever do this at how strong this is now of course it still punctures but in terms of strength it is strong, and I'm not kidding you when I say that. It really is. So, I just thought I'd share this, and 
get any feedback from people, see what people think. Uh, I got about altogether, uh, I forgot to total it up. I've got uh, the glue on the tape, so you're looking at $20 worth of supplies to make this box. And the way I'm going to make it, uh, this is no wimpy thing. It's going to last for a long time. Uh, it may even last longer than the one I made from plywood. Uh, it's hard to know right now. But uh, it's not going to be wimpy at all. Uh, it, it's very strong. And I expect it to last a good long time. Anyway, uh, anybody has any comments or suggestions, I'd like to hear it, so uh, thanks for watching.